just for the sake of the video, because sure. if we put it somewhere else, would you mind? And I'm going to ask you all the questions. You can just look at me the whole time. Okay. Um, and I'll just start with you introducing your name and okay. your, your title. Okay. With, with your title. Okay. So if you want to tell me your name. Sure. My name is Marty Holland, and I run the social media team for Windows Consumer Marketing. So we're here. We're hosting this um, experience for Windows 7 at E3, bringing together bloggers and enthusiasts that are interested in talking about gaming and giving them a chance to check it out on our and then test a couple of our partner games as well. Have you ever been to E3? I have not. I have not. I'm new to the gaming um, industry. Yeah. Yeah. What were your impressions? What, what were your um, expectations coming in? Or what were your impressions when you actually got it? Um, I think my expectations were high and I think they were met. I have to say, I had heard a ton of really great stuff about the E3 show and about gamers in particular. And um, they were super passionate, vocal, um, very community-driven audience that are happy to talk to you about almost anything. I found them to be really friendly and enthusiastic about what they were doing here. So uh, my expectations were high, and they were totally met by the people that we met over the last few days, for sure. Yeah, yeah. What, um, what would you say, uh, for somebody who, who has never been to the show, yeah. never really encountered these, um, the, the passion that these people have, what would you say is um, the, most, uh, the most exciting thing about it, like from your position? What's exciting about getting to see all these guys? You know what I thought was exciting was they all were super open to what the next thing was going to be. I can't tell you how many people we talked to that said, you know, I think I'm open to try anything they come and showcase. I'm, I'm a gamer at heart. I love to play games. That's what I'm enthusiastic about. So there was never this closed off. I didn't meet one person that said he was or she was um, just a Nintendo or just an Xbox or just a PC. Like everybody was super excited about what all three of the consoles talked about, what Windows 7 was showing, you know, what, what's going to happen. Gaming with the new operating system. Everybody was so open to it. I found that to be really, really refreshing and exciting. Yeah. And people wanted to try everything. Yeah. You know, you talked to all of them, and they all had six, seven, eight, ten consoles at home, um, multiple different games that they played. So most of the people called themselves gamers as opposed to what the hardware that they used. They were really passionate about the games they loved to play. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, um, as you were interacting with them, you, you, you're working on the inside. We've seen the build before anybody else yep. saw the build. Was there a sort of personal sense of pride that, like, this is in the wild. Yeah. These yeah. are people, these are kind of hard consumers to please. Right. And look at how they respond. Yeah, I got to say, it was, a, it was it, definitely you feel great about knowing that you're bringing a, such a strong product to market. That's just, like, you cannot understate that enough. To really feel confident about the product, to be able to show them our room of, we had, I think, seven different machines playing different types of games, and every single machine delivering on that experience was a really great ability to have somebody walk in and say, I'm going to show you Windows 7, you haven't used it before. Probably about half the people I talked to were trying, had tried the RC or in some version of trying it, and then the other half weren't necessarily PC gamers, so they were honest and said, you know, I haven't really tried it, but I'd love to check it out. Every single person was completely open to trying it, and I think that that just goes to say, felt like if they were going to try it, we were going to deliver on that, and we definitely did. Every single person that left here said it's something that they would try to go out and get, yeah. which cool. is great. Is there um, any, any thoughts that you have, just sort of closing thoughts about uh, gamers and the relationship that um, you think Windows 7 is going to have with yeah. gamers once it really launches? Yeah, I think it's crucial. I think the gamer industry is crucial for Windows 7, um, for PC gaming. I think the, the influencers, the bloggers, the people that we had come through over the last couple days, and the people that we'll meet over the next summer and you know going into the launch of Windows, which is October 22nd, it's crucial. Like, you just feel like you got to sit down and talk to these people on a one-to-one -one level with customers. And that's really what it comes down to. These are some of our most enthusiastic customers. And to relate to them, to hear their feedback, to get them to try the product, and to go forward and feel like you're really landing something with people, that they really have a passion around it, that they'll go out and then evangelize the, the product as well. It feels really good, and I feel like that's our job to go out and do that. That's our job to go out and tell the Windows 7 story. Yeah. We're starting here at E3, and we'll continue to tell that story all the way through holiday and just land it um, with the gamer audience as well as others, with the gamer audience being one of the most influential and pivotal for Windows 7 because it does deliver um, on so much of the, 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 the improvements that Windows 7 is bringing to market. Yeah, now, uh, this is a personal question. I mean, sure. I, yeah. Did you, when you were watching people uh, yeah. play, did you think, like, I should try it. Well, this, is mm -hmm. like, this, this is pretty cool. Yeah, so <laughs> I have ADD. <laughs> so it made it really <laughs> tough for me to game because three seconds into the game, I'm telling
really distracted by something else. So that's like a personal issue. But if I had a more of an attention span, like a real adult, I probably would be a great speaker. <laughs> but because of the fact that for whatever reason I can't pay attention to anything more than five minutes, I get totally distracted. And then, so I need to work on that. And probably if I was more adult and mature, I would be a better speaker. Because these guys, they can sit there for hours. I tried the, um, the, the potting game. Where there's um, plants versus zombies. Yeah, plants versus zombies. And for me, the zombie was too slow. I'm like, dude, let's go. So, five minutes later, I'm like, done with this game. So, um, I would not be a good gamer until I can work on that attention uh, maturity level. But man, I love watching people game. Yeah. So, we could probably cut that. Because <laughs> <laughs>